This time last year, I was just finishing Edge of Eternity, the last book in the Century Trilogy. I was feeling pretty good. It was the end of seven years' work on a project that now adds up to about a million words. At the same time, I was apprehensive. Would you, the readers, like it as much as you'd like the first two? After I've written the end, there's still quite a lot to do. My editors in London and New York suggest a few tweaks and their suggestions are always good. Then it goes to copy editors. These are nitpicking people who find spelling mistakes, bad grammar, and inconsistencies in the story. And they save authors from many embarrassing errors. Next, I have to check the printer's proofs and answer queries from the printer's reader. So you can see why we say a novel is never finished, just abandoned. Around the time Edge of Eternity was finally being printed, I turned 65, had a big party in a tent in my garden. This evening is One Without Love by Peter and Ken. German publishers, Lübe Verlag, gave me as a gift a section of the Berlin Wall, the symbol of the Cold War that is the subject of Edge of Eternity. 65 is retirement age, but I have no plans to stop writing. I enjoy it too much. When the book was ready, I began doing publicity. I have to make sure that you know I have a new one out. This year I started in Sao Paulo, Brazil in August, and the book tour finished in Milan in December. I've especially enjoyed meeting you in bookshops and libraries, and I get a thrill every time a reader thanks me for the books that he or she enjoyed. And it seems you enjoyed the new one. Thank you for making a number one bestseller all over the world. The trilogy is being developed for television by Sony and ABC, with Mike DeLuca producing and Anne Peacock writing the script. As soon as I get details of casting, I'll put them on my website. And I guess the best way for me to thank you for making Edge of Eternity a great success is to write another book. So I plan to spend 2015 writing the first draft of a new novel. I have in mind a story about spies and secret agents in the 16th century. I can't wait to get started. Meanwhile, have a great holiday season, and, as usual, I hope Santa brings you something good to read. <laughs>